In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NHL game happening on June 8, 2023, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game. So, two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NBA game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Florida Panthers The Vegas Golden Knights face the Florida Panthers in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Final. The Golden Knights have taken the first two games of this series with commanding victories and are only two wins away from winning the Cup. The Panthers fell apart in the first two games and are eager to win Game 3 to make this series close. The Golden Knights look to take a commanding 3-0 series lead while the Panthers hope to close the series gap and Game 4 should be a great one. The Vegas Golden Knights have won the first two games in this series by scores of 5-2 and 7-2 on home ice. Vegas has played very well to start this series and they will look to take a commanding 3-0 lead in this game. Vegas led 4-0 at the end of the second period in Game 2 and was able to add three more goals goals in the third period. Vegas recorded 28 shots on goal and went 2-4 on the power play in the Game 2 win. Jack Eichel has led the Golden Knights this postseason with 6 goals, 16 assists, and 62 shots on goal, while Jonathan Marchessault has added 12 goals, 9 assists, and 69 shots. Adden Hill is 9-3 this postseason with a 2.06 goals against average and a .937 save percentage. The Vegas Golden Knights are averaging 3.89 goals per game and are scoring on 21 points. 0.5% of their power play opportunities. Defensively, the Vegas Golden Knights are allowing 2.58 goals per game and are killing 67.9% of their opponent's power plays. The Florida Panthers return home and are looking for anything to turn this series around. The Panthers know this is virtually a must-win game, but can they improve their defense in this game? Florida received great goaltending from Bobrovsky in the last two rounds, but he has allowed quite a few goals in just two games against Vegas. Florida recorded 31 shots on goal and went 0-4 on the power play in the game 2 loss. Matthew T. Kachuk has led the Panthers this postseason with 10 goals, 12 assists, and 54 shots, while Carter Verheeg has added 9 goals, 15 assists, and 49 shots on goal. Sergei Bobrovsky is 11-4 this postseason with a 2.5 goals against average and a .925 save percentage. The Florida Panthers are averaging 3 goals per game and are scoring on 24% of their power play opportunities. Defensively, the Florida Panthers are allowing 3.06 goals per game and are killing 69.8% of their opponent's power plays. The Golden Knights are 7-2 in their last 9 road games and 36-15 in their last 51 overall. The Panthers are 75 to 34 in their last 109 home games and 11 to 3 in their last 14 overall. The over is 4 to 0 in Golden Knights last 4 overall. The under is 8 to 3 in Panthers last 11 overall. The Golden Knights are 1 to 4 in the last 5 meetings in Florida and 4 to 1 in the last 5 meetings. The home team is 11 to 1 in the last 12 meetings. The favorite is 4 to 0 in the last 4 meetings. After bullying their way through 3 elite deep talented opponents, the Panthers will not lose three straight games when it matters most, will they? The Golden Knights have outplayed the Panthers overall, but there are plenty of things have done to hurt themselves as well. There has been some brutal defensive breakdowns and undisciplined play. Granted, this does not exactly sound like a ringing endorsement for Florida to win Game 3, but if they can clean up their sloppy play and revert to what made them successful in the 12 games leading up to the Stanley Cup Final, they will give Vegas a much better game and bigger push. When the Panthers were down 3-1 to, to the Bruins in the first round, they kept their composure and made the necessary adjustments that ultimately led to them winning three straight to close out the series. There is no reason that the Panthers cannot do that again. They have to, they don't have any other option. After a historic, record-setting regular season, it would not be a stretch to say the Bruins were a better team than the Golden Knights are now. An 82-game sample size is not a fluke. If the Panthers can be on the brink of elimination down 3-1 to one and beat the Bruins, they can chip away at the Golden Knights. 
If Florida drops Game 3, it will be difficult to take them in Games 4 or potentially 5. But for now, the Panthers are in desperation mode and really need this one. They will give their best push yet. It's easy to fall in love with the Vegas Golden Knights and the even money, and I wouldn't talk you off the ledge of looking in that direction. Vegas has badly outplayed the Panthers through two games and is simply good enough to look at whenever getting the more favorable price. However, the Panthers have been one of the better home teams in the league dating back to last season. The home team has won 11 of the last 12 meetings between these clubs. Also, the Panthers showed fight in the third period of Game 2, not only with the fighting game, but they scored a pair of goals as well. Maybe that has some carryover. Florida comes into this game in dire need of a win, and they will be at home as they try to get it. The Panthers need to play much better in the defensive zone, like they did against Toronto and Carolina. Vegas has looked very good in the first two games of this series, but I do think Florida takes this game at home to keep this series tight. Pretty much a must win for the Panthers. I lay the small chalk as Florida crawls back into this series. So the Florida Panthers money line is our full game side pick. Both offenses have controlled this series and Game 3 should see both forward units find the back of the net throughout the game. The Panthers should constantly create scoring chances with Matthew T. Kachuk, Anthony Ducklair, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with quick passes. The Golden Knights look to build off a seven-goal game and run up the score with Jack Eichel, Jonathan Marchessault, Mark Stone, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with effective puck movement while she Theodore and Alex Piatrangelo pick apart the Panthers' defense from the point. Going into this series, I thought this series would trend under, but that script has absolutely flipped. With the amount of shots and really good scoring chances in Game 1, and the overhitting in that even with the fantastic play of Adden Hill on the Vegas side of things, and Game 2 flying over with the Golden Knights going over the total by themselves and the overhitting easily, I expect the trend of overs in this series continuing. Although I don't expect to see Bobrovsky giving up 5 goals or getting pulled again, I like the over to hit easily tonight, especially if Vegas is up and the Panthers have to play desperately to try to stay in the series. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.